Dashcam. Welcome to Dashcam with Derek. We are in the new college and career room, and I just kind of wanted to show you this. Noah has done, knocked a wall out here. Caleb has helped him, and uh, they've painted it, and they've thrown some furniture in here. It looks really good. I think Brad and Jason are going to kind of rearrange it the way that they want and to uh, decorate the way you want, but I just kind of want you to take a peek at this. Got the coffee maker and there's a chair. We got donuts over there. I don't know if I'd eat those right now. The refrigerator. Probably have the, the best view of Monroe County when we open those windows. And so, I mean, I, I'm excited about this. I want to encourage all of our college students, some of our young career students who are uh, just kind of starting that life, you know, you're leaving college and starting your new life and you need a, a place to worship, you need a place for a class, please come up here. It's on the second floor up here uh, and, uh, and ju just enjoy a time of studying, of fellowship. And we're thankful for Noah uh, for doing this. And so, you know, I want to start by saying, uh, you know, there's so much, you know, that it's just been difficult lately. Uh, whether it be life that has taken death or people dealing with COVID, people dealing with uh, it may be job loss. But there are days like today when it's beautiful right now or, or when it's a day like today when you have Wes and Caroline who are expecting a child sometime tonight around 7 o'clock. Man, they are excited. Lisa is about to drive me crazy today this morning. I can't be there. I can't believe I can't be there. Blah, blah, blah. I'm ready to see Wellington. And I told Wes, I said, man, with a name like Wellington, man, that's a million dollar name. And so, you know, they're excited and they should be excited. This is a new life. This is a, uh, a life that God is, is giving them. So we're praying that at seven o'clock tonight or whenever it is at midnight or maybe even tomorrow when Wellington is born, that everything is well. But as life is taken, we also know that, that there's life that is given. And that is good. I think about, you know, Psalms 139. David is being accused of not bringing glory to God. And so David is saying, listen, I'm standing right here. He can see everything about me, the inside of my heart, the outside. He knows on whether or not that I'm giving him my all. And so he tells him, look, search me. I mean, I'm not hiding anything here. And so often we do, we find people are just trying to hide who they are and, and whether or not that they're a child of God and, and they're hiding. But I like what verse 13 through 16, especially right now, you know, when, when Wes and Caroline, they're, 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 they're going through this and there's some things that they can know that brings even more joy into their life. And it starts in verse 13 of Psalms 139. For you formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being uh, made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Some translators say the Sheol. But your eyes saw my unformed substance, and in your book were written for one of them the days that were formed for me when as yet there was none of them. You know, there are two things that are formed in this text. You see at the beginning of there in verse 13 and at the end of verse 16, there are two things that are formed. The first thing that is formed is the very thing in which uh, Wes and Caroline are excited about, that, that, that Wellington has been formed in the inward part, in the depth of Caroline, in, in the shield of being knitted together. It's a child then. It is now, it is it is a child, it's wonderfully made, it's made in the image of God, and it is formed by God. That is why we serve God. You know, you're gonna, you have a choice to either believe that God has taken nothing and formed and gave life to something, or you're gonna believe that, you know what, this just all happened by chance. I take the part that I believe that God has formed me from nothing and knitted me and made me and wonderfully made uh, uh, in the depths. And I'm thankful for that. The second thing that he formed is a path. He has formed a path for me to be able to get back in a relationship with him. He has formed a path that can lead me to even a greater place than what he has here, and that is heaven. 
And those are things in which we should be excited about. Something that Kara, uh, Wes and Caroline can be excited about. That, hey, that, that, that they were and that their child has been intricately and has been just woven, has been formed by God, and that there's a path that will lead for him to paradise, to heaven. And, and that is joy. That is excitement. And so I just want us just to take, I just wanted you to, just to hear that, hey, as, as bad as everything may seem at times, just know that there's life that is being given. And that there are people right now that are excited because they're about to have their first child. Be excited with them. Pray with them. Pray for them. And to be thankful that we have right now today, it's a beautiful day. And we're going to stand before God wide open and we're just saying, hey, search my heart. I can't hide anything from you, but thank you for sharing a path to plan for me to go to. And so I just encourage, man, today, I mean, we've got some people, uh, Brother Bo is having surgery. And so we're, we're thinking of him, thinking of Mark Parham, thinking of all those who are just still dealing with COVID. And, and so we're just, there, there's so many, and, and I, I and just... Go back, look at the bulletin, see what we need to think. They're dealing with a lot of stuff, but also know there's some good things that are happening today, too. And there's some good things that, uh, uh, that, that we can be excited about. And so uh, we're thankful. We're glad that you tuned in here to uh, Dash Cam with Derek. College students, career students, if you are just, if you don't have anything going on on Sunday morning at 9.30, uh, uh, just come on up here to the college room and uh, uh, an opportunity to study God's Word and to fellowship with each other. And so looking forward to seeing everybody Sunday. And, and if you need anything, please give us a call. We love you.